Good morning, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 9.50 in the morning on Friday, January 28th, 2022. 9.50 in the morning on Friday, January, January 28th, 2022. And uh, we have another about 24 hours left of, uh, well, today, left of the earthquake warning for uh, the area northwest of Los Angeles. Let's check on that right now. All right, you can see each one of these uh, spikes in risk uh, produced a significant earthquake. And this latest one on the 27th is the most significant. It's right around 5.0 total risk. Uh, so we had put out a warning for 5.0 to 6.0, most likely a 5.0 according to the data, but it's, uh, potentially higher risk level. And so far on the, the morning of the 27th, which is uh, when this peaked here, we had a 3.5 Northwest of Los Angeles. And if you remember, that's where the warning was, Northwest of Los Angeles and still is uh, for the rest of today. Now the risk peaks on the 27th, but you always have the, uh, the risk level uh, can produce an earthquake either the day before or the day after as well. So we got the 3.5 right on the peak there. Um, so timing and location is working very well. The magnitude, however, should be closer to a 5.0. So we still have uh, today left in the warning. The warning is for the 26th, 27th, and 28th. We did get that 3.5 exactly on the peak in risk of 27th. And the risk is still very high on the 28th. You can see this peak here is still very high. So I'm still expecting uh, a 5.0 earthquake or larger in the area northwest of Los Angeles. And there's that risk area there from Los Angeles all the way up to Santa Barbara and uh, close to Santa Maria and south of Bakersfield, kind of where this quake hit right here, south of Bakersfield. Santa Barbara, Los Angeles area, and still expecting a 5.0 earthquake or larger in that area. Then, so keep that, uh, be aware of that. That uh, peak here can produce an earthquake the day before or the day after. The 20, 27th was the peak. Then the risk moves more into uh, the area from uh, South Lake Tahoe, Mammoth Lakes to Southeast California and Eastern San Francisco Bay here on the 20, late today into the 29th. However, this forecast still stands for the 28th. This is the 27th and 28th. And then on the 30th into the 31st, the risk begins to build up in the San Francisco Bay area. And we don't have any evidence of that on this risk graph yet. However, we'll keep a very close eye on this because uh, the risk is beginning to build uh, on the 30th and 31st in the San Francisco Bay. Right now, we still have to deal with this peak right here on the 27th. And the warning is the 26th, 27th, or 28th. And here's the warning area right here, northwest of Los Angeles. And we're going to keep a close eye on that. Something should happen. Uh, still, we did get that 3.5 here, northwest of Los Angeles, verifying the peak. However, the risk level is closer to a 5.0. So we'll see what happens. Uh, still expecting that earthquake northwest of Los Angeles. And then the risk begins to build in the San Francisco Bay. In Greece, we have this risk in Southwest Turkey, extending over to Cyprus. And you can see this uh, quake here at 4.9 hit uh, in that area of uh, Southwest Greece and Cyprus in this risk area here. And now the risk on the 29th into the 30th is up in Northern Albania and South Macedonia. And then the 30th and 31st is in Bulgaria over there. And we have the risk down here, east of Crete. Alaska, significant earthquake is likely uh, southwest of Anchorage, uh, the 29th or 30th. Uh, and you can see the risk a graph right here, <coughs> excuse me. 
risk graph here is a, is a strong peak on the 29th, the 28th into the 29th. And you can see there's a very strong risk level here uh, near uh, Sand Point and Kodiak Island, southwest of Anchorage on the 29th and 30th, which will, as uh, where this quake right here should hit. I was saying 5.5 or larger is likely near Sand Point and Kodiak Island here on the 29th and 30th. And then the risk level is, uh, the risk is centered uh, near uh, southeast of Sand Point and southwest of Kodiak Island, but general area of Kodiak Island and Sand Point on the 29th, 30th, and 31st. So you can see there. And here's the peak. So looking for a 5.5 or larger, southwest of Anchorage, right there on the 29th, on the 29th or 30th. In Japan, we've got a serious situation here for the next uh, 29th and 30th. Right now it is in the morning of the 29th. So <coughs> the, uh, excuse me, the next 48 hours or so looking for a significant earthquake here northeast of Tokyo, near Iwaki, Fukushima, and Sendai. And 5.5 or larger is uh, likely in this area near Fukushima uh, during the next 48 hours. And uh, 6.0 earthquake is possible in this area northeast of Tokyo and near Fukushima. So be prepared if you live in Japan in that Fukushima area. A strong earthquake is uh, likely 5.5 or larger in that area northeast of Tokyo. So be prepared for that. We're starting to work on the data for Chile, and so we can't it's we can't be very very confident about the data yet. But this is what we have so far. Looking for a 5.0 or larger uh, northwest of Santiago. Santiago is right about here, and this is that 98% risk right there is uh, northwest of Santiago, Chile, and I believe, yeah. So this is, uh, we're gonna be starting to work on the forecast for Chile as well. All right. Here is the uh, latest situation in California. We're getting some, uh, it's like some foreshocks northwest of Los Angeles. There's Simi Valley. Fillmore, Santa Clarita, you see that that kind of corresponds with this very high risk area here. All right, thanks so much for watching everybody. And uh, still the warning is still out for California, even though we did get this 3.5 Northwest of uh, Los Angeles verifying that peak. Still the risk remains high for a 5.0 or larger Northwest of Los Angeles in this uh, high risk area here. So be prepared for that. Otherwise, we'll talk to you again uh, tomorrow morning. And thank you so much to the 187,000 followers on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, 17 years of research. And thank you very much for your support. That's how we keep on keeping on here at greatprediction.com. Thank you. And uh, stay safe northwest of Los Angeles and northeast of Tokyo near Fukushima. Uh, looking for a strong earthquake northeast of Tokyo as well. All right, we'll talk to you tomorrow.